Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create cool looking map markers and pins in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from PrezoTraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. In this video, I'll teach you three types of pins and markers. The first one is of this type. The second one is of this type. The third one is this. And all these markers and pins are extremely easy to learn and they really come in handy when you want to present your map related slides. So let us first learn how to create the first type, which is this type of a marker. All we need to do is to go to auto shapes menu under basic shapes, pick up the tool called as tier tool. And this is here. It is called as tier drop tool. I'm going to click on the tier drop tool and I'm going to draw the tier drop. I held the shift button down as I drew the teardrop so that I could maintain a perfect circle here for the teardrop. Then let me right click, go to size and position option here, size and position, go to rotation and add an angle of 135 degrees and say enter and that moves the pointed tip to the bottom. Now we have the background for our pin. Then. Let us go to auto shapes menu under basic shapes, pick up this oval tool, hold the shift button down as you draw a circle. Now we will place the circle right in the middle of the teardrop shape. Let us give this a white color and let us remove the outline. The outside one can be in any color of your choice. This teardrop tool can be say um, orange colored one and we can remove the outline. And we can add some kind of uh, preset to this one. Go to shape effects preset and choose the second preset called as preset two. And now we have this beautiful marker ready. If you want to write some text inside this circle, all you need to do is to select the circle and then you can type your text. Your text is what is typed. And then I can go to the font color and change it to something more visible and the pin is complete with its label. I'm going to now delete this so I can teach you how to create this interesting marker here, which looks like a flag. The first thing we are going to do is to go to auto shapes menu. I'm going to pick up the line tool here and I'm going to draw a straight line while holding the shift button. Holding the shift button ensures that the line is perfectly vertical. Then let us go to shape outline and give it a black color. So the pole is black in color. Then go to shape outline and increase the weight to say six points. Then let us add this particular shape. So let us go to auto shapes menu under flow chart. You would be able to find this interesting uh, shape called flow chart punched tape. So that is what is the name of this one. So let us pick up the punched tape shape. And here you can see that this is how the punched tape shape looks like. I'm going to place this right on top of the line and let me change the color to say red color and remove the outline. Now we have the flag ready. I'm going to select all of that together and press control G to group it. Now I can go to shape effects, shadow and add under perspective this shadow called as perspective diagonal upper right. And now you can see that we have created this very interesting flag map pin. Now that this is done, let us go to learn how to create this one. Now there is a little bit of trick involved in creating this uh, pin. So first let us go to auto shapes menu, go to basic shapes and pick up this tool called as can tool. And that allows us to create the basic stub that you see here underneath. Let us go to shape fill and give it a darker color and let us add some kind of a gradient. Maybe we can use the gradient here, which is called as linear, right? I'm going to right click, go to format shape. And here you can see that there are three stops here for this. I'm going to select the middle stop and I'm going to change the color to say a light gray color, like you can see here and I'm going to remove the outline and that helps us to create the stub of uh, the pin. Then we are going to create this 3D sphere to uh, place on top of this stub. So let us go to auto shapes menu. Under basic shapes, I'm going to fill up, I mean pick up this tool called as oval tool and I'm going to draw a small little circle here. 
and let us go to format and see what is the size of the circle that I had just drawn. It is 0.55. Now we are going to apply a 3D bevel to this one. So let us go to the uh, effects option here. Go to 3D format. Go to top bevel and choose the bevel option called as circle. Do the same for bottom bevel as well and choose circle. Now we are going to change the number here. The number for the bevel here is going to be based on a very simple formula. When you go to the format tab on the right hand side called size group you can see the height and width. Now they both match because it is a circle. Now if you note down here you can see that there is this value is 0.55. Whatever the value that you see here in inches needs to be multiplied by a factor called 36. Now let me go to the calculator and multiply 0.55 by 36 and I get 19.8. Let us round it off to 20. I am going to use the same number here for the width for the height of the top bevel. I am going to do the same for the bottom bevel as well. And as soon as I did that you can see that there is a perfect 3D sphere here. I can always change the color of the 3D sphere to whichever color I want. I am removing the shape outline. Now we have got this beautiful pin. Like the way that I had shown you earlier, we are going to select both the shapes here and press Ctrl G to group them and go to shape effects, go to shadow and click on the perspective upper right shadow and now we have a beautiful 3D pin available. So you learnt how to create pins like the tear shape pin like the one that I had shown you here and you had also learn, learnt how to create this flag pin and this 3D marker. I hope you really liked the interesting techniques that I taught you in this video. If you want to learn more such interesting tips, tricks and techniques, then I suggest you take a look at our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program is arguably the most comprehensive PowerPoint training online. No other book or course, whether it is online or offline, teaches you the kind of advanced tips, tricks and techniques that I teach you in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. You can find more details about the program by clicking on the No More button here. I'll also leave a link to the program in the description area below this video. And before we close this video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting, even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free course and if you're a trainer or a course creator, you can't afford to miss this very interesting email course. I'll see you on the inside.